Hey everyone, the Mechanic Man here. Today, I have a comparison video. So first off, I just want to apologize uh, about the videos. I haven't been posting, I don't think I've actually posted in about a week. Um, I've been sick, um, and I've also had a lot of other stuff going on, so hopefully I'll be doing more videos. Um, another thing, I apologize for the quality of this video because the uh, camera on my phone isn't really working right now the, all that well. Um, the lens or the glass around it is uh, broken. Um, so I don't know if it'll focus as well, but um, soon I plan on getting a uh, video recorder so that I can create better quality videos for you guys. <clears throat> so, um, in addition to that, I've edited my YouTube page, so now, um, might be, should actually be easier to find me. Um, just go on youtube.com slash themechanicman92. Um, so, should be easier to find me there. Um, so yeah, here's a comparison, um, with the, uh, Husky, uh, ratcheting wrench and, uh, my newer gear wrench ratcheting wrench. So here I have, uh, both 10 millimeter, chose 10 millimeter because, um, it was actually the most, uh, or the most commonly, uh, used ratchet that I use. Um, I've been looking, I was looking at the gear wrenches at uh, my local Sears for the longest time. Um, they were always, they were always just expensive. So they were like about a hundred bucks for a um, pack of 20, 10 SAE, 10 metric. Um, then uh, this previous week I saw a sale for um, that same set for 50 bucks. So I was just like, oh, I got to get this set. So I bought that set. Um, what I plan on doing next is saving up some money and upgrading my Pittsburgh ratcheting flex head ratchets to the uh, uh, ratcheting flex head gear wrench ratchets because they're just better quality. Um, so that's what I plan on doing soon. And I also plan on upgrading my stubby set to the uh, gear wrench um, stubby set that they have. Uh, I've noticed that all of the gear wrench um, wrenches are on sale. So if you're on the lookout for a good wrench, I suggest you go to your local Sears and take a look at them. Um, I heard that they're really good quality, so um, I'm giving them a shot. So, again, this is a comparison video between the uh, Husky ratcheting wrench and the uh, gear wrench ratcheting wrench. So now I'm going to um, take several measurements of each of the uh, wrenches and just show you um, how they compare. So first, taking the uh, Husky, uh, measure the length of it, and it's coming in at six inch, or 16 centimeters. So, length is sixteen centimeters. Focus, come on. Don't crap out on me. Um let's see. The thickness of this is 
Um, averaging out to about 3.5 millimeters. So thickness is 3.5. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it's going back. Um, and the um, width is nine point two nine point two nine point four five it's averaging out to about nine point three millimeters so Put that on the chart as well. Okay, now let's take the uh, gear wrench that we have. Gear wrench. Like that. And it comes to uh five five and three quarters fifteen and three quarters sorry fifteen and three quarters centimeters so fifteen five cm uh, the width of it The width nine point five nine point five and nine point five. So everywhere it's actually nine point five it seems for the width. Whereas with Husky it varied. Some of them were nine point three, nine point five, nine, it just varied, so 9.5 9.5 for the width and now for the thickness thickness So 4.0, 4.0, 4.1, we'll just average it 4.0. We'll just go 4.05. Okay, so let's compare them to the numbers that I came up with. So gear wrench, the length was approximately 15.75 centimeters. The Husky was 16 centimeters. So level them out as best as I can. And you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. Not a whole lot though. Um, the uh, width of the gear wrench was 9.5 millimeters everywhere. Um, the height, or on the handle part, like where you would put your hand, is 9.5 everywhere on the gear wrench, 
Whereas the Husky, it really varied. Um, some places, like I said, was 9 millimeters. Some of them was 9.1. Others 9.3, 9.5. So it's not entirely straight. Um, the thickness, um, the gear wrench, it, it varied a little bit for the gear wrench. It was mostly 4.0, 4.0, and the last one was like 4.1. Husky, again, it varied between like 3.0, 3.2, 3.3, 3.5. I think at one point I saw it was like 4. So, again, the Husky varied as well. Um, now for the clearance, where you would put the, you can see how much space you have to put on a fastener. Let's measure that right now. On the Husky, zero it out. Comes to 7.7. .7. And the gear wrench seven point seven as well. So they're both the same there. Um, now let's try the open end to see um, the, how much space you have there. Um, this is gear wrench. You have uh, five point five point five millimeters. So, and then with the uh, husky, well, husky is actually thicker. Husky is um, six point oh. So you're looking at a 0.5 millimeter difference between the two in uh, the thickness. So um, I mean the gear wrench can fit in a little bit tighter of a space than you would with the uh, Husky. Um, other than that, um, go for the feel. I mean. One thing I liked is that although you can feel the edges, you can't really feel them that much, like they're rounded off edges, so they're not like digging into your skin when you grab it. Um, same thing with the Husky. Huskies is pretty much the same way. Um, I would say that the uh, gear wrench is a little bit more rounded off than the Husky. The Husky you can feel the edges a little bit more, but not by a whole lot. Um, now with the ratcheting mechanism, um, I believe it was a five degree um, arc, so you only have to move it five degrees in order to hear it click. So, I mean, it's a typical ratcheting um, husky. I believe it's the same. 